Welcome to I Can, I Am, I Will, the podcast designed to encourage you and help you build your confidence and self-empowerment. Today, we are going to finish our conversation on boundaries. This is our sixth episode on boundaries. If you want to learn more about them, you can just check out the five previous episodes. And today, we are going to focus on how to build boundaries. Yeah. My name is Lindsay, and together here we are going to help you build your confidence and self-empowerment by focusing on topics that helped me build my confidence and self-empowerment. Boundaries are one of my favorite topics. I love them. They have changed my life. It will make you feel happier. You're going to have stronger connections. You're going to feel more assertive in every area of your life. You're going to feel empowered Let's do this. Before we dive in, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. You can contact me. You can see transcripts of articles. You can um, also support the podcast by going to kenmwill.com. I would love to hear from you and I appreciate any support. So when we establish boundaries, we want to keep three things in mind. Number one is your mindset towards establishing boundaries. Number two is choosing which boundaries that you want to set. Like, what what are we doing? What do I want? (laughs) And then number three is how you are actually going to establish the boundaries. There are different ways that you can establish them. In regards to your mindset, so in episode 38, our first episode on boundaries, I talked about viewing boundaries as an opportunity to connect with other people. You are allowing other people to connect with you by telling them your boundaries. You're opening up. You're letting them know, this is the best way to connect with me. This is what I will respond positively to. That is the mindset I would love for you to have when you're going into setting boundaries. If you are not used to setting boundaries or if you do not feel like you are an assertive person, then setting boundaries can be a little scary. I get it. I've been there. (laughs) It was nerve wracking. However, you can do it. And with that mindset of, oh, I'm trying to connect with these people and I'm showing them how they can connect with me. With that mindset, you will be better able to establish boundaries and you will remove the anxiety, some angst behind setting the boundaries. The second step would be choosing what boundaries that you want to establish. For me, a boundary that I established was people asking me about children. And I talked about this yesterday. So I do not want to have children. And a family member was continually and constantly bringing it up. When she would bring it up, it would make me feel uncomfortable. And I felt like I was sitting there just listening to her talk about it and how she thought that having children was going to make me happy. And she thought that I was going to be happier. And she thought this and children and blah, blah, blah. And she kept going on about it. And I remember just sitting there and feeling just like annoyed and upset because it really upset me when I'm thinking about all that I'm accomplishing. At that point, I was 18 years old, um, working full-time and putting myself through school full-time. I'm a first-generation college grad. And every time I see a family member, they're constantly talking about children and asking me when I'm going to have children when really I'm so excited. I want to talk about school and how I'm doing so well in school and I'm doing something that no one in my family has previously done. Hello. (laughs) So for me to establish boundaries, that was a boundary that I had to establish because it was not contributing to my mental and emotional well-being. And I found myself kind of drowning out, like zoning out when she was talking. And then also I found myself kind of being rude when she was talking because I was getting agitated. So think about things in your life, a, a situation in which someone is saying something to you, talking about a certain topic where it makes you feel agitated, it makes you feel misunderstood, or it makes you feel like annoyed. Or think of it like a situation in your life where maybe you have acted in a way that you don't feel comfortable. Like maybe you were aggressive towards someone. It could be because you did not establish a boundary and they kept pushing and pushing and pushing to the point where you finally like erupted. 
And what you can do here is you can choose to establish that boundary sooner. So think about times in your life when people say things like, uh, say you have a friend that comments on what you eat or comments on your weight or you have a relative that does that. I have relatives that do that too. Um, think about people, any comments that they make or certain things that they do. Does someone like uh, hug you when you don't want to be hugged? Or are they like touching you when you don't want to be touched? Like even if they like touch your side when they're walking past you, you can be like, hey, like I'm good on that. Thanks. <laughs> And choose things that you want to establish boundaries around. For me, an, a boundary that I established was asking people to make plans with me at least a day in advance. A lot of my friends, they were making plans with me the same day. I don't live near them, so I would have to get an Uber to see them or drive, and it would be a half hour to a 45-minute drive one way. So it's kind of a pain in my ass when they're asking me last minute. It's like I have to change every, like everything around and figure this out. So I told them, like, listen, if you want to hang out, please let me know a day ahead of time. I'm not living in the city anymore, and it's a pain in the butt for me to figure out transportation. I really want to see you. It would be easier for me, though, if you would let me know ahead of time. And then that's what they do. And I do that even with friends who live close because I really appreciated that. And it felt really good to establish that boundary that I have a friend I met a couple weeks ago. He lives down the street from me. And last week he asked me to hang out the same night. And I said, hey, I appreciate setting plans like a day at least ahead of time. And he said, okay. And then not kidding you, it was like 20 minutes ago, he messaged me and said, hey, do you want to meet up tomorrow or sometime this weekend? There you go. And that gets me to the how. So you can determine how you want to establish boundaries. With kids and talking about children, when I was talking to family members, I would ask them to please stop. And then I would explain to them that it was upsetting to me. It's not something I wanted to talk about. With other people, I would typically just change the topic. And this shows how important setting boundaries are. So previously with people like at work, like colleagues or acquaintances or just even random people that you meet at a party that want to know when you're going to get married and have children because when you're a woman, like a young woman, they think that's what you're like obsessed with. <laughs> Making money, honey. <laughs> Ask me about that, that promotion and raise I just got. <laughs> anyway, uh, they want to talk about children and ask. And I noticed that was something that was annoying me. And with my relative, like I said, I would talk to them about it and say, hey, I would appreciate it if you don't bring it up. But with people with acquaintances, I literally would just say, I don't think I'm having kids. Maybe I'll change my mind. And then I would change the topic. So what are you doing? Or do you have kids? which usually I wouldn't ask because I don't really care about your kids. No offense. <laughs> but I would just change the topic. Like, oh, you know, did you see that TV show? Are you watching this? Or even talk about the weather. I'd, I'd rather talk about the weather. And that's showing me adhering to two uh, different boundaries. So my self-boundary of not disclosing information. Previously, I used to disclose a lot of information. Someone would ask me, when are you having kids? And I'd be like, well, I don't know if I ever even want them and I don't really have the motherly gene and I feel like it's not something that I want and they're kind of expensive. So I don't think it's something I want to do. And I would explain that. But then I set the self boundary, like I explained yesterday of not disclosing more information that I need to. So I was adhering to that boundary when I tell these people I'm not having children and then change the topic. And that's another way to establish boundaries. You do not have to explicitly ask people. You can show people because they're going to get it. They're going to pick it up. Like, okay, don't ask her about kids because then she just moves on. <laughs> and that's it. It sounds simple. It will become simple once you start to create boundaries. I don't want you to give up. Have that mindset that it's something that you're learning. It is new. But you can. You are and you will. You can establish boundaries. You are able to be assertive and you will 
establish boundaries that are going to positively impact every single area of your life. Yay! With that, we are going to end with our eye affirming statements. You can say them with me. You cannot. You can do what you want. Set that boundary. What makes you feel comfortable? Are you ready? I can. I am. I will. Have a great day. <laughs>